Hey guys, sorry up here, and welcome back to KSP. Uh, somebody asked uh, in my last video for a tutorial on how to make a plane. So uh, I said okay. Uh, I made it before, but I, uh, for some reason the video cut off too soon. So I had to redo it again. So uh, It's a little bit uh, later than I was planning to put it up, but here we go. Uh, here we have a very basic plane. Um, you have a cockpit, nose cone, which is empty. We have a air intake in line with the rest of the fuselage. Uh, I'm hoping that it will mean that it will blow up less soon. Uh, we have the jet engine fuel, 150. And we have the turbo jet engine, which seems to work the best at this very moment at low altitudes. Um, we have the wings and the tail fin. Uh, I'm gonna t uh, try a, a some few things. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning myself uh, with uh, 1.0. So, <coughs> uh, things to remember, very important are, uh, which also were important in the previous version, is to have the lower, uh, the rear landing gear higher up than the front landing gear, so that your nose is pointing up already a little bit, so it will take off faster. Okay, let's take this to the runway. As you could see in the uh, hangar that the uh, center of mass was in front of the center of lift, just a little bit. So this should work. Start up the engine, go half throttle. These kind of planes need only, from the turbo engine, only half throttle. If you go any faster, you'll just blow up. This is the plane. So. Pretty nimble. The game seems to uh, um, um, favor delta wings at this very moment. You know, big wings at the, at the back and small wings at the front. And I'm going to turn on the SES. Uh, what you can have is, for instance, a problem that your plane will try uh, break apart if you turn too hard, uh, which you can solve in uh, several ways. For instance, if your plane lifts off without the front canard, you can remove those maybe and then you'll turn less hard because there's no lifting force in the back and only uh, at the front and only in the back. But as you can see, these delta wings seem to have uh, be able to turn pretty hard. So I assume I can still break it. But the new aerodynamics are great. You can really feel that you're turning okay uh, now we're gonna ch try and change this configuration up let's see what happens if you switch it around with the wings <coughs> so I'm gonna take off the front canards put the big wings in front of course these wings are a little bit wide but uh, let's see lift okay Well, as you can see, uh, the lift is now in front of the mast. We're going to try and see how this flies. It seems to me that the new version has a little less trouble with it, but just a little. Okay, here we are. And uh, let's uh, half throttle again. Uh, I have the bad ha habit of uh, throttling up completely. From the old version still. Okay. Revving up the engines. Let's see if this will take off. Uh, this is what I meant. It's not so problematic this time, but if I push, uh, if I pull up right now, uh, I will turn very quickly without me really wanting to do it so much. Just give it a little tap. And now it stops. Which can be useful if you want to make something of a stunt plane. But as you notice because of the uh, in the, in the previous version, the other configuration, because the big wings are in the back, you have more resistance. You get them uh, 
see it tends to slip over now uh, drag more come to a complete halt which can be useful but this is a nice stunt plane you know if you want to catch up with your own smoke let's see how it does at higher speeds it's pretty stable I have to say that in uh, when I turn it so you can you can turn this one at pretty high speeds it breaks very hard because of because when you uh, pull up You, uh, you put the whole wing surface in front of the, uh, in, in your uh, direction of movement, so you brake very hard. You can see in my turns, I lose, if I go very fast, I, lo I, lo I lose about 100 meters per second in speed. Uh, look, I'm going about almost 400. I'm going 400. Now look at my speed as I pull up. Almost everything is gone. Seems to be how faster I go, the more speed you lose, lose when you turn. So this could, plane could be useful for a dogfight. You can catch up on your own smoke with it. So. This configuration seems to be very useful for a uh, dogfight. It depends also, of course, on what type of wings you're using. Uh, in the, in the, I was try, I was testing this out, and I was using a tail wing for a big plane as the front wing, which didn't really work. No. Okay, so uh, those are two configurations: uh, front wings with smaller tail fins and delta wings with bigger wings on the back and canards on the front. Or tail fins at the front, whatever you want to call them. Of course, now we have the end, uh, issue of landing. I didn't think about that with this plane. Uh, okay, slower down, turn around. Okay. Now, uh, in this game, uh, you don't really break that much anymore. No, use X. With, uh, just uh, simply in the air. Oh, not gonna make that. Luckily enough, I have enough speed to take off again. Turn around and give it another try. But like I said, um, I forgot to put my engine on a toggle so I could turn it off instantly. That's another thing of uh, planes, rockets. Well, that's what I said. Little uh, rough landing, but still we made it. Um, if you toggle your engines, when you turn them on and you get, turn them off, you get more instantaneous thrust and you get a more cutoff. I can press X now or press C to L to uh, lower my thrust, but it's going to react very slow. Instead of if I have my thrust at the uh, speed that I want it, it will uh, spool up or start working faster. I don't know the exact words. English is not my first language, so I sometimes have to think about what I'm saying, but you guys know that. Oh, and uh, for the guys who have uh, been a long rounder, I don't know if you uh, listened long enough to hear it, but I'm over 100 subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you for the guys that are joining me, or have joined me. And uh, I hope you guys will stick around, just like uh, the other guys did. And I hope I'll uh, be able to entertain you and provide you with nice looking aircraft. It's just funny this, you know. I always wanted to make a plane which can get a... Uh, which could catch up with its own smoke. And this plane can almost do that. But in the previous version you can never make such a tight turn. It's really, you're now cutting through the air, it's not like you're flying through jelly anymore. We Oh! I think I lost something. Well, it still flies with SCS on. That's weird. 
probably has to contract. But it's doing, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, remember to uh, put on uh, air brakes if you want to make a quick landing or put the new on the new the new drag chutes. These are parachutes that open up when you want to brake, when you're landed and when you're on the ground and don't disappear. Hmm. Okay, that's a new kind of plane with one wing. Yeah, the SCS is a bit of a cheat, but hey, at least it keeps you stable. Okay guys, so if you like the video, please like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section, I will try to answer all of them. Which I'm still able to do. Oh, whoa. Oh, get out yet, get too late. Oh, one more thing guys, before I leave you guys. You've probably seen it in some of my previous videos, but I think it's ridiculous. It's funny, but it's ridiculous. And I just want to show you guys. Let's go up. Okay, here we go. Uh, which you can always see with the, uh, also see with this plane. Turn on the SES for now, uh, because of uh, uh, because of my wing car configuration. If I hadn't had my front landing gear lower than the rest, I wouldn't take off because I have no lift in the front right now, and my back wants to go down. But you can't push it down when you're on the runway. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, here we have Jeb, of course. Now, if you're about to crash, uh, come on. So if you're about to crash, um, just let your kerbal jump out, like so. There we go. Put on the RCS if he's not knocked out. Come on, jab. You can do it, jab. Lift, jab, and he's dead. Okay. Um, Probably if you don't hit the tailwing. For some reason, if I turn on the RCS in the in their backpacks, and I'm gonna try that again. I want to show you guys a little bit slower this time. A little bit harder. That's a bit too slow. Okay, take off, take off. Like I said, because of the angle, I'm not taking off, so it doesn't matter that my front doesn't lift off. Okay, spin around while I. There we go. Turn on the RCS. I have landed in the water like this, in this position. I have uh, landed on land. And I haven't died. This is ridiculous. I'm at about 1000 meters I was, or maybe 700, I don't know. But it's high enough to kill any normal person. But of course, these are Kerbals. Just trust down. Ta-da! And Jebediah lives. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Hope you've had it funny. If you ever are crashing, jump out, turn on your RCS, and see if you survive. And report back to me. Okay, bye guys.